Real Country 1430 AM and 107.3 FM WRDN. Brian Winnikins at World Dairy Expo. And uh, thank you to our expo sponsors, including BioVet, Uttertech, Bauer Seeds and Service, Osseoplastics, and Alcivia Co-op. I'm with Bill Calvertes, the uh, nutrition uh, manager, a livestock nutrition manager uh, in the southern region of Alcivia Co-op. And uh, had a chance to talk with Bill here at World Dairy Expo. And uh, Bill, well, thanks for joining us. Well, before we start talking about all of the stuff with Alcivia Co-op, your you used to show here, but your son is doing is showing. So tell us about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I got a 17 year old son. That's uh, it started uh, for us um, earlier this weekend getting cattle up here, and then he participated in the showmanship contest, the fitting contest. And then he's helping a group from Indiana get their cattle out, Brown Swiss Group, and then he exhibited last night a brown swiss heifer that did fairly well and a couple animals that he has sold that showed today that uh one placed as high as third in class so i mean it's it's always been a connection for us up here how much how different is it from when you were showing way back when it's it's a lot different i mean the cattle have gotten so much you know better and um what it the preparation of going into cattle i mean it's a 365 day job getting these cattle ready um so it's it's just extremely different. As a dad, you've got to be pretty uh, pretty proud seeing your son out on the colored shavings. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a, kind of been a family tradition. So um, I had twin daughters that exhibit up here, and of course, I did as a youth and stuff like that. So it's nice to see the tradition keep going. Talking with Bill Calvertes, uh, the uh, livestock nutrition uh, sales manager for Alcivia Co-op in the southern region. We're getting ready for winter. Um, what are some things? farmers with livestock need to be thinking about as we get ready for winter so this year kind of the hot topic right now is the risk management piece um, the uncertainty of the markets trying to lock in their feed sources for next year so I mean talking basis contracts looking at different sources that fit in their ration where they can take and lock some milk in at a profit and knowing their costs you know are locked in too so that's been a hot topic just visiting with farms offering you know the risk management piece for their dairy um, also coming up on some bookings with the end of the year to capture cash discounts on our Ford Solution line, as far as inoculants, and uh, our Chris Hansen line of inoculants. And then we also got our plastic line um, that we offer some early discounts and some along with seed discount this year. It was the first time we're kind of comboing that with the animal nutrition team and offering seed lines that help, you know, really benefit the dairy cattle and stuff like that. And that's really for this year for dairy farmers, really for all farmers, they really need to be kind of thinking a couple of steps ahead. You know, even even the, I hate to say it, even the plastic, you got to kind of book oh, yeah. that ahead too. Yeah, the last couple of years, you know, with the COVID and the um, supply chain demands, you know, restrictions and stuff, um, we've been pretty aggressive bringing inventory in and making sure that our customers are taken care of. Talking with uh, Bill Calvert, uh, he is uh, with Alcivia Co-op, Animal Nutrition uh, Sales Manager. So, Bill, you know, there's been a lot of topic or talk as well over the last few years of these new BMR varieties. What have you been seeing? Are there challenges that dairy farmers need to be thinking about if they decide to use those varieties? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, working, I mean, this is where kind of our agronomy team and our animal nutrition nutritionists work together um, at the farm. And, you know, because a lot of the hybrids are, are bred for, you know, the cash crop guys or the ethanol plants so looking at them hybrids that perform in dairy cattle um, we offer a, a line of Brabant seed that does an excellent job of this um, we've taken customers on tours to seed these um, these plants in production and stuff like that and how they perform on dairies but you know it's just the once again you know how we can get the most out of their forages so that we can keep the cost down at the farm and, and Bill, if, you know, for farmers, you're in the southern region, Durand obviously in the northern region, but for really farmers in either region, if, if they got have questions, they can they can talk to their agronomist uh, at Alcivia Co-op. They can come out to the farm like you've done. Yeah, so we work cross-divisional very well, um, something we focus on, you know, where they can work with their agronomists. Our agronomists work with our nutritionists. We got an energy team that helps with the fuel side to contract them needs in. We even got our in-house loan department with Verity to help capture low uh, lines of credit for these dairies. Um, and then also our grain department to help market the crops. So um, we offer kind of a full service plate to the customers, you know. You can find out more. You can just visit Elsivia.com. We are at World Dairy Expo. I'm Brian Winnikins for WRDN.